Hi, this is Pam from the Birch Cottage blog. Welcome to my video tutorial on how to make decorative soap using Mod Podge. The first thing you'll want to do is gather your supplies. So let's take a look at the supplies that you'll need. You'll need a bar of soap, paper napkins, Mod Podge, you may want to have a paper towel and a bowl of water handy, and some parchment paper and ribbon to wrap up your uh, decorated soap. The first thing we're going to do is to or prepare our soap. Um, you, so you will need some kind of tool to scrape off, uh, like on this bar of soap, it has the name Jergens on it. So you need some kind of tool that will help you scrape that off so it's nice and smooth. I actually used one of my Cricut tools, but you can use an X-Acto knife or whatever you happen to have handy. The next thing you'll want to do once you have your soap all nice and smooth is to cut out the shape from your napkin. Just take your scissors and take the napkin and figure out what pieces that you want to cut out to affix to your uh, bar of soap. And then once you have your pieces all cut out, um, you're going to separate your napkins. Napkins are usually two ply or three ply layers. And I find that it's a little bit easier to separate them after I cut out the designs. For one, the, the napkins are more fragile when you separate the layers, so it's a little easier to cut it out with the layers intact. And then once you have the design cut out, you can just separate the layers. Just go slowly and you shouldn't have any issues. If you do, cut out another piece from your napkin and you'll be ready to go. And then once you have your pieces all separated, you're ready to apply the Mod Podge. I like to do wet on wet, which means I'm going to apply a layer of Mod Podge onto the soap and a layer of Mod Podge onto the back of my napkin. So well, I just had a little something on my soap, but I'm applying a thin layer of Mod Podge to the top of the bar of soap. And then I will take my napkin and I'm put something under it to protect my work surface. And I'm going to apply Mod Podge from the center of the piece out. That'll help keep it from rolling up and tearing as you apply the Mod Podge. And then you just simply, with nice, dry, clean fingers, apply the design to the top of your soap where you want it placed. And then it's important that your fingers are dry and they don't have the glue on them, the Mod Podge on them, as you simply rub from the center out and smooth out the tissue design on the top of the soap. And then you're going to let that dry for 15 to 20 minutes and you're going to apply uh, two more coats of Mod Podge to the top of the napkin. Again, you want to use thin layers of Mod Podge let it dry 15 to 20 minutes between each layer and then after you've applied three layers let it dry really well and you are ready to either use or gift your your decorated soap thank you for watching this youtube video if you have any questions please leave them below in the comments and i'll be glad to respond to them and be sure to follow me over on the birch cottage blog subscribe to my newsletter and like this video if you found it helpful thank you